You can be your own NASCAR driver with RC Racing. Check it out. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm with Riders Hobby Shop. Today we're going to be talking about RC Racing. RC Racing is a way of competing with RC cars. Um, it's a hobby that a lot of people are into. You can be into it for your own enjoyment or you can do it for competition. Today we're talking about the competition aspect of the hobby. Um, just basically taking what you have out and on an even playing field competing with other people who enjoy the same hobby. There's what we're going to talk about is club level. There's different classes on the club level. There's the on-road classes which run on a flat uh, track with no jumps. Um, they're basically just competing through a series of turns. Um, it's timed racing, it's not laps. Uh, you compete to see who can turn the most laps in a given time. Actually, all electric racing works that way. Um, these cars, like I said, these are, these are flat track cars. Um, the slower the two classes, they run with stock motors. Um, probably the slowest the car goes with a stock motor is 30 or 35. With modified, they're probably hitting 45, 50 plus, depending on who's there that day and how hot their setup is. Um, on the other days, we're running off-road. These cars jump. Um, I don't know how many feet in the air they get, but you can, you know, we have the other footage, you can see how high they get. They have a full working suspension, independent per wheel. Um, this is the bigger of the two. This is actually a two-speed truck. This is the slower of the two. This one's been clocked at 30. And this one's a lot faster. I don't, I don't really know, but it's a lot faster than this one. Corner speed and top speed is a lot faster. So those are, these are the basic classes. We're running other cars down there. There's smaller cars. There's buggies. There's a car that's that you can fit in like the palm of your hand, almost. But we haven't gotten into those. We're kind of just getting things kicked off down there for the most part. This is a this is a 10 scale stadium truck. Um, this is the, these are the pins that hold on the body. Right here is the body. It's flexible. It's not really indestructible, but it lasts a pretty long time. This is the chassis of the car. You see on each four wheels, there's a shock. Um, these wheels come off. You can change tires, wheels, and get all kinds of different colors and flavors. Um, this is, these are the electronics. These control the steering and the throttle functions. Um, back here we have the motor. You can change any and every component. Um, a lot of times there's upgrades, like these are machined aluminum upgrades right here. These are carbon fiber upgrades right here. They're not necessary for racing, but for some people they want to add, you know, more style or personal feel to their car. Um, that's pretty much the basic parts. Just, you know, the, the steering's controlled by the servo here. This is regulating the power to the motor. This is processing the frequencies for the controls. It's the basic controller right here. Um, that's pretty much the parts. Um, the only parts that you can't see, like there's gears inside of here. Uh, you can buy them pre-built. This one was built from a kit. Um, you can now buy this one pre-built. At the time, it wasn't available that way, but things are moving to a more pre-built out of the box style now. When you're interested in getting an RC car, there's a lot of options out there. Um, the way a lot of people are getting started is with a ready to run car. This car has everything in one box as far as the hardware you need. You need to add a battery and a charger to this. This car is already pre-built. It's ready to go. You can customize it from here. You can still change as many parts as any other car, but this car 
comes with the radio right here. You can see all the electronics are in, the motor's wired, everything's been wrenched on, it's ready. And all you have to do is add driver. And then the other option would be, which is a total kit, this is, if I was to open this, it would be bags that are marked and numbered, and you build it from there. This doesn't have any electronics, there's no motor, but say you already had all those things and you wanted to take it out of this car, this would be your next step. You could take everything out of this, put it in this car, and you have a brand new car ready to go. So that's, that's the two main options you have. There's a couple in-betweens, but this is, you know, the main basics. There's an initial cost to get started in RC racing, but once you've purchased the vehicle and all the accessories, you really only have to pay the race entry fee and maybe any replacement parts that you break, which would be really not much. So you're going to pay more to race usually than you pay in parts, so you can race virtually all year on the same setup once you buy it. With RC racing, you can really practice anywhere. Um, you can take your car to like your local parking lot or if you have a big driveway or maybe a paved road or if you run dirt, even a dirt road you could run on. So you can get practice time, really. You don't have to go to the track. RC cars and NASCAR even share some of the same tuning terminology as far as the t cars go and getting them set up for the track, such as like camber, tow-in, tow-out, um, certain downforce adjustments that you can do on on-road cars. A lot of it crosses over. It really surprises people once they learn. This is a great thing to do on the weekends. We're out in you know the early afternoon. Um, it's a really nice environment. There's no you know drugs or alcohol involved. It keeps kids out of trouble. Um, people try to help each other out for the most part. I mean it's competitive, but um, you can come out and watch. You know we'll answer any questions for you. RC Racing is a blast coming out and you'll have a good time.